first day of combining is taking place here in Upham, Hampshire. I'm here to meet Dan Honisett of George Rees Farming to see how he's going. Dan, today is the first day of combining and how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty steady. Um, we've just bought a new combine, uh, brand spanking new out of the shed, so we're just trying to set that up at the moment. Um, the, uh, the grain itself is fit, but the um, <clears throat> plant is still very green in the bottom, so going very steady, but we've made a start now, so that's the main thing. <laughs> And, and what was the thinking behind actually buying a combine this year? Um, we were given a good price. Um, um, when you hire a combine, you don't always know what you're getting. Um, and you sort of tend to abuse it a bit. And so when it breaks down, you're sort of not quite sure where you are with it. But having a new machine, or your own machine, I should say, you know exactly its funny little quirks. And um, also, we're trying to start yield mapping this year. And uh, the John Deere does that and we're going to be doing that with Hunt, so Richie and Walton, they'll be helping us with that. It's also got the green star guidance, so you can drive uh, in a straight line without actually using the steering wheel, um, and lots of, lots of clever things, field mapping as well, so that's some of the things it does. I see, and, and, and what do you think the outlook is for this season? Um, I don't think it's going to be particularly great, because a lot of the crops, the wheat especially, looks like it's actually uh, dying on its feet where it's been so short of rain but you can never properly tell till you get into it 